This Bon Mercier actually shocked me when I tried it on. It offers a lot of bang for the buck. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex and today we're going to take a closer look at one of the most recent releases from Bon Mercier. It's their Clifton Baumatic Daydate Moonface. This watch was released earlier this year. It's been present in their catalog before. This time it comes with a blue dial and a stainless steel case that just looks fantastic. So Bon Mercier is an old brand that has gone through a lot of changes in the recent years. They have developed their own Baumatic in-house caliber that offers five days of power reserve. And this is a great option for you guys that are looking for something in the entry level luxury segment. The watch measures in at 42 millimeters in diameter is about 13.2 millimeters thick. I don't have the lug to lug measurements, unfortunately, but it's, uh, I would say around 48, 49. So even though it looks kind of big from the measurement, it actually wears really nice even on a smaller wrist. As you can see here, this is how it looks on a 16.5 centimeter wrist. The case has different finishes, brushed case sides and also polished twisted lugs that hugs the wrist really nicely. I think that this is contributing to the feeling on the wrist that it doesn't feel that big um, as it is. I mean 42 is actually quite big. The dial is super nicely executed with a vignette or degradé or fumé finish, call it whatever you want. It goes from a lighter blue shade in the center of the dial and fades out to black. It has the day indication at 12 o'clock and the moon phase and date complication at 6 o'clock. What's interesting about the moon phase that I didn't really realize before I had it in hand and took a couple of shots of it is that the the disc for the moon face is uh, transparent so this gives a really nice effect in different lighting conditions and it really plays and elevates the whole dial itself. The baumatic movement as I said in-house movement is visible through an exhibition case back. It's quite nicely finished actually with uh, perlage decoration and also Cote de Genève stripes on the rotor. Five days of power reserve, which is a trademark for all the Baumatic calibers. This one is not COSC certified as opposed to the three hand version of the Clifton. But all in all, this watch is very nicely packaged. It feels really exclusive, I must say, and more expensive than it actually is. And I thought that this watch was priced at around seven, eight thousand euros. Actually, it's more around five thousand euros, which is really competitive considering what you get, because I mean, the dial looks really nice, has a nice finish, the movement is great and also the case feels very luxurious and nicely finished. So the Clifton Baumatic Daydate Moonface is something you should have on your radar if you're looking for something in the entry level luxury segment that is a contemporary take on a dress watch with a 42mm case size with a complication, I mean Daydate and Moonface. It's really nice and uh, I believe it's a great looking watch. Bon Mercier are doing a lot of interesting things right now in this segment of watches. Also with the Riviera which is more of a sports watch with uh, rubber straps and bracelets in different versions. It's going to be really interesting what happens next year. I know there are big plans in the making since they are celebrating their anniversary. And it's going to be really interesting to see what they have up their sleeve and if they can continue to deliver bang for the buck pieces that looks and feels really great. All right, guys, let me know what you think of this watch in the comments, the Clifton Baumatic Daydate Moonface from Bon Mercier. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It would mean a lot if you can help this small channel grow. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys next week.